Up until this point, Tim, we've talked about the gut microbiome, but as somebody that is so fascinated by that and does research in this area, how do you think about the microbiome of our skin? Is that something you consider? Yes. Well, my wife's a dermatologist, so we often discuss uh, skin microbiome and it, it is very important. It, they, they, interestingly, we did a study on the genetics of body odor in our twins and I researched body odor and it turns out that it's all the composition of the microbes on the skin that produce different chemicals that produce our unique body odors. So, um, they are important for our individuality. And again, you know, our skin, we are all very different. So that's why we all do smell different. That's why babies can always smell their mother. That's why all animals have this unique um, ability to separate humans. It's our individuality. And that's why a lot of skin diseases occur in some people, not others, um, is because, partly because of our different skin microbiome. And you know, in some ways it protects us and the others it, it can be a, a problem. And a lot of eczema and skin uh, dermatitis is, is caused, is related to the skin microbiome. And often overwashing and overusing soap and over hygiene has been a major problem, particularly in kids, in, in mothers overdoing it and making the whole problem worse. Often the microbiome is there to protect you and protect against disease. And overwashing has been a major cause of problems in, in recent years in the West. Well, this kind of ties back with what you just said. Plus, before when we talked about things in the environment that could affect the microbiome of the gut, this applies to both that and the skin. Are you somebody who's an advocate for using more natural products when it comes to cleaning the home, cleaning the skin? Do you think there's any validity in these? Yeah, I mean, my, my wife for example, says no one should ever use soap on their face. Um, and yet, uh, you know, um, the amount of products uh, many people use on their face to cleanse their face, which are highly artificial, is enormous. Putting chemicals on there, blocking the pores, getting rid of all those healthy microbes, um, massively overdoing it. And so, and also most women use um skin creams that contain UPFs that protect against sunshine and they use them all year round. So the skin and the microbes are not getting um, sunshine. They're not getting vitamin D. Uh, you know, I think we've, we've gone far too far the wrong way and we need to get back to much more natural methods, certainly. But, so that's, that's the extent of my knowledge. It's rather broad brush, but I think it's, it, it does, it does resonate in, in that there, there are definite parallels between how we treat our microbes in different parts of our body. And, and they are everywhere as well. And the same goes for, you know, um, there's lots of studies about vaginal microbes and, uh, people over, over hygiene air there that causes all kinds of problems and can cause infertility and things. So sometimes we just need to leave things naturally. And I'd have to assume too, using a lot of these chemical products to clean, you know, our bathrooms, our homes, they would have to impact the gut microbiome too, and not just the skin. Yeah, I don't think there's much data on that, but it's pretty obvious that if you're using bleaches and dettols and things like this, that um, they're going to be harmful. This, there is some data of people who regularly use mouthwashes, chemical mouthwashes, have a much poorer quality pro-inflammatory gut microbe. Uh, oral microbes and uh, ultimately cause more problems of bad breath and things than people who don't use them. So again, you get a short-term benefit, you cleanse, you get rid of all your gut microbes, you know, your breath might feel better for a couple of hours, but long-term, actually, you're doing them great damage. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. I think we've, we've gone far too far the wrong way and we need to get back to much more natural methods, certainly. That's my go-to um, oil, and it, I think it's going to be the best.